Welcome to Sebasta, ancient Roman city. Ancient round structure here. Ancient theatre over there. just quickly checking out this ancient site and then I'll be heading on to the Roman city of Canle Divane which is situated around a sinkhole. There I'm planning on stealth camping. Let's go check out that theatre. Nice, more Christ evidence. Amazing that this road passes straight through the center of this ancient Roman city. I originally wanted to stealth camp here, but it's a bit busy in the middle of everything. Big noisy highway. Probably wouldn't get much sleep. Beautiful archway. What an inscription. Well, this has certainly seen better days. All we've got is the underlying layer carved into the bedrock. That over there gives you an idea of how the seats would have been layered on top. Straight into some cacti. Clearly this has been plundered over the centuries. I think over here they've redone the seats in more modern times. Yeah, look at this, it's concrete. Nice. Always lots of fun. Amazing ancient tiled floor.
Oh wow, full on mosaics. And look at that fish. All those fish down there and dolphins. That's so cool. Really can't get over this giant monumental archway. They probably would have continued across here. It's amazing to think. A little niche in the wall right there. Nice Corinthian capital. Sebasta. Probably could have found somewhere here to stealth camp, but I think the ancient Roman sinkhole city, Canli Divani, sounds cooler. It's also in the middle of nowhere, so much less highway noise. Imagine how cool it would be though to live here. These ruins right out your window. There's houses nestled in around this place. That'd be awesome. Check it out, casual ancient Roman aqueduct. Amazing. Canley Devane, two Ks more up this big hill. There we go, an ancient structure. I'm getting close. 300 meters apparently. Okay, here we go. Let's have a little ride around. Case this joint. Oh wow, look at those ruins. monumental tomb with three plants okay that's oddly specific there's a lot more than three plants around we'll have to see what they mean by that okay i think this is it honestly i think that sign is supposed to say monumental tomb with three pillars but it says plants for some reason i guess pillars used to be made of tree trunks and then they started making them stone when they were sick of temples burning down so yeah i can understand let's have a look inside very nice got a bit of a necropolis around here interesting Maybe I could sleep in here. Just kidding. I know, you probably take me seriously after that little Bellerophon rock tomb incident. Let's keep searching. Actually, a whole bunch of 
bunch of bees there. I'll leave them be. There's a very nice looking rock tomb up there. Let me try to make my way up to it. How incredible. This is the tomb of Abba. She built it for her and her husband. It's the most important and significant monumental tomb here on this site. This could be a nice spot, honestly. I'm serious this time. I may set up in here, although there is an inscription that says nobody is to be entombed here besides Abba or my husband, Arios, and if they do, they commit a sin against the underground gods. So there is that little inscription to worry about. Other than that, it's a great spot. I don't want to sin against any underground gods though, if you believe such things. You know, weird juju camping in a tomb. Maybe I'll have a dream about Abba. arch would have gone here. Just that tiny little curved rock at the top indicates it. So great. Now, Kanli Divane means bloody crazy, which, you know, as an Aussie, I approve. Bloody crazy, mate. But the reason it's called bloody crazy is because apparently in Roman times, they would execute criminals by throwing them into the sinkhole. Which, you know, that is bloody crazy. You can't argue. Look at that. Some sort of interesting relief of six figures down there. What detail. Got a replica of an olive press here. I guess that down there are the vats where the oil would have drained. This is quite something. I like this little replica here. some kind of bird war going on over there. Hmm. Was this someone's house? We got a chimney. Probably. Oh my. Check this out. Is this some kind of cistern? Certainly looks like it. I just love these arches. So amazing. Okay, I'm gonna chill a little bit until sundown. There's a few people here. They should leave by then. And then I'll set up my camp. Talk to you then.
Okay, so I've decided on a location for the stealth camp. Yep, Abba's tomb it is. What do they say? Sorry, not sorry. I don't want to sin against any underground gods, but at the end of the day, I'm not getting buried here. I'm just sleeping, and it's too cool a spot to pass up, honestly. It's just incredible. Moved my stuff in here. Nice. Sun has set, so hopefully no one else is going to be turning up. It's a beautiful evening. Lights are starting to turn on. There are a few mosquitoes around though, so I have set up my mosquito net in here. It's looking good. Should protect me. All right, Tomb of Abba. Let's go. I'm gonna chill a bit until dinner time. Okay, water's boiling. Got some mac and cheese. While that's boiling, I'm gonna chop up this onion. Okay. That's good. Take this outside to strain it. And we're back. Pasta now strained. So we've got the cheese powder here. Now the recipe calls for butter, which I don't have. So I'm going to use mayonnaise instead. That should do the trick. Basically make it oily, like butterwood. In addition to that, I've got mozzarella cheese, added cheesiness. Got this pack of pre-sliced sajuk. And last but not least, pool biber to give it a little kick. I've said it before, but that pool biber is goaded. It's like got all the benefits of salt and pepper with none of the negatives. All right, it's all thoroughly mixed. Let's try some. Adding all those extra ingredients sort of made it a bit lukewarm. So I need a little go over the flames to steam it up and increase the heat a bit. Maybe two minutes. Check this out. Doesn't that look great? What a hearty campy meal. This. And for dessert, of course, we got some Turkish delight. I'm really liking this one. Mm. Gotta say, that meal was quite thirst provoking, and I've only got a small amount of water left. Not gonna hamstring myself for the middle of the night and get dehydrated, so. Good thing about this Turkish delight is it's the opposite of thirst provoking. Hmm. I'm gonna have a little bit more of this and get into bed. See you in the morning. Good morning.
All right, time to pack up. All right, nice and packed up. I'm gonna play us out with some drone shots.